I am Lieutenant James Gordon, the Training Director of the Virginia Beach Police Department. I welcome each of you here today as we celebrate the accomplishments of our Academy graduates and newest officers of the Virginia Beach Police Department. Please join me in welcoming the graduates of the 74th Police Academy. We'll ask that you please stand for the presentation of colors by the Virginia Beach Police Department Honor Guard and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance and the singing of our national anthem performed by Miss Christiana Florimon. pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light? What so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the rain parts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets that our 
our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land and of the free and the Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a moment of silence to honor all of the law enforcement officers who have made the ultimate sacrifice. Thank you. Chaplain Stevens, will you please join me to give the invocation? Heavenly Father, we are thankful for your presence this evening as we witness and celebrate the graduation of the 74th recruit class. Our hearts are filled with gratitude and thanks that these dedicated men and women have willingly and eagerly chosen to serve this awesome community and its outstanding police department with both honor and integrity. We are continually mindful of your promise in your holy word where you say, blessed are the peacekeepers, for they shall be called the sons and daughters of God. Heavenly Father, we are so thankful that you are faithful to keep your promises of protection, strength, and divine wisdom for these new officers as they embark on this noble service to others. Thank you that you will never leave them nor forsake them, that you will faithfully have their back as they step into this esteemed calling to serve others. We thank you for the wisdom that you have given to the many staff members and dedicated leadership who have so faithfully taught and led this academy. We also thank you for the grace and peace that you have given to the families and friends that unfailingly support and love these men and women. It's in the name of Jesus that we pray, amen. Everyone can be seated. Thank you, Chaplain Stevens. I would like to take a moment to recognize our special guests who have taken time out of their busy schedules to join us tonight. Virginia Beach Mayor, Robert Dyer. Virginia Beach City Manager, Patrick Duhaney. Virginia Beach Police Chief, Paul W. Newdigate. Representing the 8th District of Virginia, Senator Bill DeSteff. The Honorable James C. Lewis, Chief Circuit Court Judge. Members of City Council. Members of DCJS. Virginia Wesleyan University President, Dr. Scott Miller, members of the Police Department Command Staff, and family, friends, and distinguished guests. On behalf of the men and women of the Virginia Beach Police Department and the staff of the Training Bureau, I want to thank each of you for being here and celebrating this special occasion with us. Completing the Virginia Beach Police Department's 24-week academy is no easy task. It takes teamwork, dedication, not only by the recruits themselves, but also the entire Training Bureau staff. 
from attracting, selecting, and hiring the most qualified police candidates to teaching our new officers all of the necessary knowledge, skills, and abilities to become certified officers in and out of the academy. Our training bureau staff has a tremendous impact on our graduates and department. I would like to take this opportunity to thank and recognize the outstanding professionals who are assigned to the Virginia Beach Training Bureau. At this time, I would like to invite Virginia Wesleyan President Dr. Scott Miller to provide some welcoming remarks. Thank you, Lieutenant. Good evening and welcome to Virginia Wesleyan University. I offer my heartfelt congratulations to the 74th class of the Virginia Beach Police Academy and commend you on choosing such a noble profession of public service. Um, thank you also and special welcome to Mayor Dwyer, City Manager Patrick Duhaney, District 4 Council Member Amelia Ross Hammond, our district here, also Council Member Rocky Holcomb. You've always been good friends to Virginia Wesleyan and, and we thank you for always being here. Um, a, a special welcome also to Chief Newdigate, more on him in a minute or two. Um, it's always good to see Judge Lewis and also to recognize Bill DeSteff, who's been a true champion and friend of American higher education and financial aid for students. I'm honored to be speaking to you at this momentous occasion. During my 33 years as a college president, you can imagine how many graduation welcomes I've given. This one's very special because you are a very special group to this university, this community, and to me. I trust you'll find your career in law enforcement rewarding. As we all know, this field is constantly evolving. From new technologies to changes in policies and procedures, officers must stay up to date to effectively serve their communities. That's why continuing to learn is so important in law enforcement and today is simply the end of the first chapter of your commitment to lifelong learning to enhance your skills and stay ahead of the curve in an ever-changing environment. Now, I know that there are obstacles to continuing education, like time and financial constraints, and I'm sure that many of you made sacrifices on your journey to arrive at this special moment. I'd be remiss if I didn't use this occasion to express my appreciation, our appreciation, to Chief Newdigate, who had the vision, the persistence, and a strong personal commitment to develop a collaboration between the Virginia Beach Police Department and Virginia Wesleyan University for an educational benefit that gives you the opportunity to continue growing both personally and professionally. This vision resulted in an affordable and expeditious program that allows you to earn the college credits you need to advance in your profession. In fact, we are committed to offering college credit for experience to all Virginia Beach Police Academy graduates. This is an exclusive agreement between Virginia Beach's oldest college or university and the police force that has served our great city for many years. Virginia Wesleyan has made a commitment to the Virginia Beach Police Department to serve as an affordable resource for the betterment of our community. So if you've dreamed of earning your associate, bachelor's, or master's degree, but always felt that you didn't have the time or the funds to fulfill that dream, the next step in your career development is right here at Virginia Wesleyan when you're ready. Again, I offer special thanks to Chief Newdigate for being a true champion of this partnership. So congratulations once more to the 74th class of the Virginia Beach Police Academy. We thank you for your commitment and service to each other and our community. And remember, you always have a warm welcome to your hometown university. I thank you. Thank you, Dr. Miller. Please welcome Virginia Beach Mayor Robert Dyer. Good evening, everyone. What a privilege to be here and taking part in this ceremony, a ceremony that will bring safety and security to the people of Virginia Beach, and for that I thank you. 
You've worked hard, trained hard, and sacrificed so much for the past few weeks. The training, both the program and physical training, intense and demanding. But you per persevered and you succeeded and you are here this evening. Being a police officer is in fact a calling that few can answer. And those of you here this evening are swearing an oath to serve and protect our community. As you trained together during the past few months, you for forged relationships, partnerships, and friendships that contribute to a strong bond. This is a bond that stands for more than just a group working together. It's a bond that meets safety, security, and a team that works as one. As, as one saying that I heard, it goes, in this family, no one fights alone. Thanks to your efforts and the efforts of your fine instructors, you now possess the skills and training to do a first-class job and to help make sure that Virginia Beach continues to be safe. The Virginia Beach Police Department is recognized throughout the nation as a leader in progressive policing. Chief Newdigate, his command staff, and our officers are on the street, are the best police officers everywhere. And as a result of their fine leadership and dedication of the entire police force, Virginia Beach has ranked as the safest large city in this great nation. They know and understand and deeply believe what one police commissioner once said to Congress. I don't have to draw a line in the sand. I already have one. It's thin, it's blue, and it's mine. And if you cross it, I will protect it. I truly believe that we are a city of heroes, a community where you are, where you are confident when you call 911, heroes will respond to any emergency. There is no better example of that than four years ago on May 31st when the quick, immediate, and professional actions of police saved lives and prevented the shooter from escaping and killing more people on the outside or in other buildings. Thanks to the police department ex extensive cross-training and tactics and, immediate and the immediate response from the first officers and the rest of the force, which was a horrible incident, was kept from being much, much worse. I shudder to think what might have been without the brave men and women who wear the blue in our city. Congratulations to all of you as we honor you here today and congratulations to the friends and families of these graduates. Your support of these men and women is measurable and vital to their success. None of these graduates would be here today without your support and encouragement. They, they thank you and we thank you as a city as well. And as you go forth into the world of public safety, representing our city, keep in mind these words from an unknown source. A true police officer is not because they hate what's in front of them, because they love who stands behind them. I wish each of you all the best as you pursue your careers with the Virginia Beach Police Department. You could not have picked a finer organization to become on. On behalf of our city, I thank you for what you are going to do to make us the great city we are. Thank you all, and God bless all of you. Thank you, Mayor Dyer. And please join me in welcoming the city manager, Mr. Duhaney. All right, good evening, everybody. Good evening. President Miller, thank you for hosting us. We always appreciate your gracious support of our police department. And Senator DeSteff and um, the Honorable Judge Lewis, thank you for your perpetual partnership with the police department, ensuring that we always have the resources and support that we need. To the mayor, members of council, thank you for the honor of being your city manager, and thank you for the resources necessary to provide the best training in the entire United States for the young men and women here that are going to graduate to become police officers to help keep our streets safe. 
Chief Newdegate and the command staff, thank you for your leadership and the training cadre. You did it again. These are fine looking men and women and I'm eager to see them help us to meet our goals and achieve all of our goals to continue being the safest city in the United States. I won't be long. The hallmark of a good city manager is he says less than the mayor. So I'll wrap up real quick. I wanna tell you thank you. I wanna thank you specifically for choosing Virginia Beach. And I will let you know that we'll always have your back and we'll always be with you. From training to technology, you will have the best equipment in the entire nation. Virginia Beach, we're a host city, we're a tourist city, and one of the hallmarks of being a, a tourist in a host city is that you remain a safe city. And we're a safe city off of the backs and shoulders of you. And you're joining the ranks of a, a great team, not just the police department, but the entire city team. And we're all laser focused in ensuring that you all have the tools and the resources to do your mission. We ask a couple of things of you, but most importantly, we ask for honesty and transparency, right? Remember your oath, remember your responsibility, remember your training. Your job is the hardest job in the entire United States. You see people at their worst, and a lot of times when you come in, you're, you're gonna take them into situations that they probably don't wanna be involved with. It, you're gonna say things to you at times that's gonna make you angry, sad and make you wonder why you chose this profession and it's at those moments that you got to remember your training and at those moments you got to remember loving our residents and our citizens here right you can't do this job if you don't love people all right i'm happy to see you all choose virginia beach where a lot of cities are struggling to recruit and retain police officers we're winning that game I think um, right now we got about a 5% vacancy rate in the police department. And you look at other cities, they can't say that, right? And I think you all are probably seeing a little bit of why Virginia Beach is winning at police recruitment. It's because of the wraparound services we give you, the support we give you, and um, the holistic support and care we give you. The one last thing I'm gonna say to you before we go is it's a tough job, but you gotta take care of yourselves. This is no longer, a police department that tells you to suck it up, right? If you need help, if you need support, reach out, ask for it, we're there for you. And we're providing the resources to ensure that you can spend 35 years or more as a Virginia Beach police officer. Thank you for your choice and look forward to seeing you on our streets and thank you. Thank you, Mr. Duhaney. Please welcome Police Chief Paul W. Newdegate. Thank you, Lieutenant. Uh, good evening, everyone. Thank you to our, our mayor, our various council members, our city manager, our distinguished guest. Uh, thank you, I see our fire chief, our interim EMS chief, and our partners from the sheriff's office. It truly means a lot that, that you're here to support us. Class 74, congrats. So uh, it's my pleasure to be here this evening celebrating your success. Your class brings diversity of ethnicity, background, life experience, military status that will all reflect the community that you serve. Class 74, over 25% of your class has served in the U.S. Armed Forces. I thank you for your service to our country. Class 74, comprised of an impressive 33% of females, which continues to move the bar closer for our 30 by 30 initiative, which is the department's pledge to have 30% of our sworn staff comprised of women by the year 2030. So all of you have my commitment that we are working diligently to make sure that your time here is inclusive and welcoming. So class 74, Today, you joined a team of professional law enforcement officers that serve and protect the 39th largest city in our country, our 460,000 residents, and over 10 million visitors that travel to Virginia Beach each year. So I know the last six months have not been easy. The police academy is demanding. It's demanding by design. Training for a career in law enforcement is not for the faint of heart. 
So look around you. What began as a class of 21 recruits is now 15. And that is a testament to your perseverance and determination and precisely what we are celebrating here today. So on that note, I wanna thank each of your families for supporting you as you've already experienced. This is a unique profession that impacts spouses, children, for some of you parents, far more than the average job. And I have no doubt that your families have all sacrificed in some way to get you to this day. I want every family member to know that we see you. We are grateful for how you have supported your officer through the 74th Virginia Beach Police Department Academy. But 74th, you should know, this is not the end of your training, but just the beginning. We've equipped you with the foundational knowledge to be successful in the profession, but every day that you don the badge, you will continue to be faced with new lessons. I encourage you to keep an open mind as you embark on this next chapter of your career. You have chosen a fulfilling and rewarding career, and this is a job that you can be proud of. It is about service to others. And one of the most gratifying facets of being a police officer is the unique chance to help others. You will have the opportunity to save lives. You will have the opportunity to change lives for the better. And what may just be another routine call for you once you're out on the streets could very well be the opportunity to make a profound difference in someone's life. So as you've learned when you started the academy, you have joined a family. And there is a strong kinship developed within the police community that is rarely found in other professions. And the bonds forged through this academy will continue to strengthen and grow as you navigate your careers with the Virginia Beach Police Department. The quality of those relationships that you cultivate, they're crucial to your success. Let those relationships bolster you in both good times and challenging times. So to that end, as you sit here reflecting on this remarkable accomplishment today, I urge you to consider what drove you to pursue a career in law enforcement? Was it a passion, a desire to be something greater than yourself? Whatever the reason, I implore you to reflect on that today and every day. You're gonna deal with a lot of difficult situations to avoid becoming jaded and to keep a firm grasp on your humanity, I urge you to reflect on your why and let that be your North Star guiding you through this profession. Class 74, you've accomplished a lot, but we're not done. I have some goals for you. The mayor mentioned it, and while we may be the safest city our size in the nation, and we are, we need your help, your commitment to remain so. But while doing that, I ask, do it with empathy, do it with compassion. There are many in our community that need help and more times than not, the police are going to be the first responders to what are some of the most traumatic experiences our citizens will ever face. I also ask you to embrace change. Police work is fluid, it's constantly evolving. You know, I hear the calls for police reform and I offer that policing as a profession is and has been constantly evolving to adjust to the demands and expectations of our community. Continuous improvement is just not an idle phrase for us. It is a core value. I ask that you remain accountable. We derive our authority from the community that we serve and therefore we must uphold the high expectations our residents have for us. I think the manager mentioned it as well. I ask you to remain transparent. We are in an era where our bosses, the citizens of the city of Virginia Beach, they demand and they expect transparency. They want to see behind the curtain of how we do things and why, and they're entitled to do so. Class 74, I ask you, never sacrifice your integrity. 
Integrity helps you build your character, and character is who you are. You can spend a lifetime building how people see you, but one serious slip of judgment, a deviation from taking the right path, can and will tarnish your character and the badge you wear for an entire career. Do not let that happen. Class 74, if you keep these three concepts in mind, accountability, transparency, integrity, you are going to have a distinguished career with VVPD. Finally, I'll close it out. Let me extend my sincere gratitude to you and your families on behalf of every resident and visitor to Virginia Beach. You're embarking on a career that involves risk, sacrifice, and often does not get the appropriate acknowledgement that it deserves. Thank you for courageously being willing to suit up to serve and protect this community. Because of you, our friends, our families, our neighbors have peace of mind now that the safety of our community is in your capable hands. On behalf of the leadership team, please know that we value you. We appreciate the daily determination that you've shown to get this far. And as you get ready to take your oath of office, it is my privilege to officially welcome you to the Virginia Beach Police Department. There is no finer calling, and we are honored to include you now in the ranks of the most noble of professions. Class 74, congratulations. Thank you, Chief Newdigate. At this time, please join me in welcoming our special guest speaker for the ceremony representing the 8th District of Virginia, Senator Bill DeSteff. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to be here with you tonight. The duties which a police officer owes to the state are most exacting nature. No, is, no one is compelled to choose the profession of a police officer. But having chosen it, everyone is obliged to live up to the standards of its requirements. These words were spoken by Calvin Coolidge nearly 100 years ago, yet they're just as applicable today for us to speak about today. Indeed, each of you wearing that shiny new and untarnished badge will be oblig obligated to live up to the high standards this noble profession demands. Congratulations to the graduates of the 74th Police, Virginia Beach Police Academy. There's not a person in this room that is not proud of your exceptional achievement, and most importantly, filled with gratitude for your willingness to serve your community in this most challenging profession. I understand that it's tradition you all took a run to the law enforcement memorial. I'm certain that while you were there, you had the opportunity to reflect on some of the incredible heroes that once, once served this city, from Constable Malichi Beasley, who was shot and killed in 1898 while attempting to arrest a man for stealing a gun, to Detective Mike Phillips, shot and killed in 2008 during a narcotics bust by. I trust you learned of the incredible sacrifices. You were reminded of the extraordinary commitment you too will make here shortly as you raise your right hand and take the oath of honor. The commitment to run to danger when everyone else is running away. The commitment to spend here soon your 4th of July ensuring that others have a safe and enjoyable holiday. And the commitment to the words etched into the black granite walls of the memorial. Courage, honor, valor, integrity, sacrifice, and pride. As these words are forever etched into that black granite walls of the memorial, I hope each of you etch them in your minds. They will guide your actions, your service, and your commitment to duty throughout your careers. Your classroom and practical training have included multitude of, of topics, constitutional law, crisis intervention, defensive tactics, firearms, communications, leadership, ethics, investigations, first aid, de-escalation, and so many others. All told, you have soaked up in 960 hours of training time, 
which is twice the Virginia's minimum standard. As you well know, this isn't the end of your training either. The next 16 weeks, a training officer will be by your side, providing you with essential field training expertise that is critical to your success. A considerable amount of time and money have been invested in you because frankly, once you're certified and on your own, much will be asked of you. You must be prepared for whatever the next call of service may require, and that is an enormous responsibility. Thankfully, you've received some of the very best initial training offered by any agency in the nation. Preparing you to answer the call in being everything to everyone at a monumental task. I applaud Cap Captain Zelms, Lieutenant Meister, Lieutenant Gordon, Sergeant Jalosu, your squad leaders, instructors, and all the training staff at the Academy for their incredible dedication to your training. I'm confident that it will serve you as a solid foundation for your problem-solving skills and abilities. Before I, I leave this afternoon, I want you to know this. Law enforcement agencies across the nation continue to experience some very difficult times. Police officers face increased scrutiny, are constantly second-guessed, often malaligned. Nonetheless, whenever someone calls 911, whenever help is needed, a police officer is quick to respond. But who's there for the police officers when they need help? I'm here to tell you that I am. I back the blue. I appreciate you. And make no mistakes, I will never turn my back on you. This year, we sponsored legislation that would provide for the proper care and treatment of officers suffering from mental health injuries, namely anxiety and depression, sustained from documented duty-related critical incidents. We just can't pretend that our officers are unaffected by these things they see and do day after day. We must care for their mental health injuries just as we care for their physical injuries. I believe that anyone who assaults a police officer should be arrested and charged with a felony. I believe we should put the death penalty back on the table for anyone that murders a police officer. And I will never support ending your qualified immunity. I know that you face many threats throughout your careers. The last thing you need to worry about is whether or not the members of the General Assembly have your back. I have and will continue to support you and all of your partners in public safety. The Virginia Beach Police Department, Department is not just the largest city department in the Commonwealth of Virginia, it's also the best. Thank you for inviting me to share this special day with you, your families and friends. Thank you for your willingness to serve your city. And again, I congratulate each and every one of you and pray that you'll all continue to stay safe and healthy throughout your careers. God bless you, God bless your families, God bless the Commonwealth, and God bless America. Thank you. Thank you, Senator DeSteff. Before we officially swear in the new officers, let's take a look at some of the highlights from their six-month journey. We gotta look at the camera and smile, my dude. Okay. Oh, okay, good. Choose your fighter.
Would you rather get tased or OC after this? I get tased. I get tased like 10 times for this once. Um, I think it's going pretty good. I'm enjoying getting out of my comfort zone and doing things that are a lot more hands-on than I'm used to. So I'm enjoying that. I'm enjoying meeting um, all the people that I've met. How do you feel? <laughs> feel good. You feel, you feel good? I ain't doing it again. <laughs> no, sir. Now for the moment we've been waiting for. I would like to invite the Honorable J James C. Lewis to say a few words and administer the official oath of office and swear in our new officers. Um, good afternoon. Um, my name is Jim Lewis, and I'm a circuit court judge for the city of Virginia Beach. And my real job this evening is to swear in our new academy graduates. But in the past, Chief Newdigate has given me the liberty of bragging on the department a bit before we get to that, and this evening is going to be no different. I'd like to congratulate the new graduates on joining what I consider to be the best law enforcement agency in the country. And I, I, a few reasons why I feel that way. Uh, I defended cases in courts all over the Commonwealth of Virginia for 40 years before I was honored to um, get the job that I have now. Um, and I came across all sorts of law enforcement scenarios. Since becoming a judge in Virginia Beach, I've spent the last nine years literally every day uh, watching examples of the law enforcement efforts that are put forth by, by the Virginia Beach Police Department. Uh, the most recent one that comes to mind several months ago, I presided over a murder robbery trial and the, the case um, started with an elderly couple stopping at a Wawa the husband gets out of the car, he's pumping gas, and two strangers drive up in another vehicle. One jumps out of the car and robs the husband. The other one jumps out of the car and murders the wife. They jump back into their vehicle and they're gone. And I'm not going to bore you with the details, although I would love to. In less than 36 hours, the Virginia Beach Police Department had both of them in custody charged with robbery and murder. And one of them has already uh, been sentenced to a 50-year penitentiary sentence. What I came away from that experience with is I've never seen uh, a, a, a better oiled law enforcement um, machine. That's a, that's a terrible word to use, but that's what, I mean, I sat there watching the case as it was presented uh, step by step through the unbelievably creative, imaginative, and effective law enforcement work uh, that this police department put into bringing those two individuals to justice. And I came away from it shaking my head and saying to myself, it simply does not get any better. And I congratulate each one of you for doing the work and, and achieving uh, the goals uh, being allowed to join what I consider to be the best law enforcement agency 
in the country. One thought I'm going to leave you with before we get to what you really want me to do. Uh, as you go through your careers, I have no doubt that there will be times, probably more than you'd like, where you are not treated with the respect and the dignity that your office should demand. But every time that happens to you, I want you to remember that every one of us citizens of this city who rely upon you to keep us safe in our homes, in our front yards, and in our workplaces have our undying gratitude to each one of you for what you do for us. Thank you. Okay, let's, um, uh, let's get to why I'm here. And, and every year this creates an issue. The oath starts off with I, and what I'm reading from says, state your name. And it never goes smoothly, but what we're going to do is I'm going to have each one of you, ask each one of you to stand. <laughs> and this is a repeat after me exercise, but I'm going to start off by saying I, and you, you're supposed to say I because you're repeating after me. And then the next thing you're supposed to do is say your name. And then we'll get on with the rest of the oath. So if you would be so kind as to raise your right hands. I. I. Do solemnly swear or affirm. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And that I will faithfully and impartially discharge, and impartially discharge all, the duties upon me, all the duties incumbent upon me as a sworn police officer, as a sworn police officer with, the Beach police with the City of Virginia Beach Police Department according to the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help you God. Congratulations. Thank you, Judge Lewis. Good evening. I'm Sergeant John Geluso, and I'm the Recruit Academy Coordinator. In a moment, we will begin with the presentation of certificates and names will be read in alphabetical order. A little bit of background on the Academy. The 74th Recruit Academy began on January 12th of 2023 and was in session for 24 weeks. During this time, the Training Bureau delivered nearly 1,000 hours of cutting edge training through 100 courses of instruction in the classroom and in practical training settings. From firearms, defensive driving and defensive tactics to ethics, leadership and cultural awareness, each recruit had to maintain an academic average above an 80% on 11 Department of Criminal Justice Services exams that covered over 1,100 DCS, the DCJS objectives. At this time, I would like to invite Chief Newdigate and our distinguished guests to please join me on stage for the certificate presentations. On behalf of the command and staff of the Training Bureau, I congratulate the graduating members of this class. Chief Newdigate, it is my distinct pleasure to begin presenting the officers of the 74th Virginia Beach Police Academy, starting with Officer Ethan Bender. Officer Bender will be assigned to the first precinct. <laughs> Officer Andrew Bevel the fourth. Officer Bevel will be assigned to the 3rd Precinct. <laughs> Officer Hallie Bergsteiner. <laughs> Officer Bergsteiner will be assigned to the 2nd Precinct. Officer Samuel Corey. <laughs> Officer, 
Officer Corey will be assigned to the second precinct. Officer Kyle Edwards. <laughs> Officer Edwards will also be assigned to the second precinct. Officer Brittany Flintosh. <laughs> Officer Flintosh will be assigned to the fourth precinct. Officer Keenan Frazier. <laughs> Officer Frazier will be assigned to the 4th Precinct. Joining us on stage to pin on his badge is his father, retired Philadelphia Police Officer Eric Frazier Sr. Officer Leonard Heredia. <laughs> Officer Heredia will be assigned to the first precinct. Officer Juliana McDonald. <laughs> Officer McDonald will be assigned to the fourth precinct. Her uncle, retired New York City police officer Dan Wild, will pin on her badge. Officer Tyrell Moore. <laughs> Officer Moore will be assigned to the 4th Precinct. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Officer Chardonnay Nichols. Officer Nichols will be assigned to the 4th Precinct. <laughs> Officer Kelly Ann Rodriguez. <laughs> Officer Rodriguez will be assigned to the 1st Precinct. Officer Harold Salgado Figueroa. <laughs> Officer Salgado Figueroa will be assigned to the third precinct. Joining us on stage to pin on his badge is his father, Harold Salgado Astacio, former police officer from Puerto Rico.
Officer Austin Smith. Officer Smith will be assigned to the 3rd Precinct. His father, retired West Virginia State Police Sergeant Michael Smith, is on stage to pin on his badge. Officer Adam Williams. <laughs> Officer Williams will be assigned to the 3rd Precinct. On stage to pin on his badge is his cousin, Richmond Metro Police Department canine officer, Ryan Burgess. In addition to their graduation certificates, the following officers will receive special recognition for their achievements throughout the academy. I would first like to recognize the class leaders. Officer Andrew Bevel. The academy squad leader selected him to serve as the sergeant at arms. Next up is Officer Brittany Flintosh, the 74th Academy class. <laughs> the 74th Academy class elected Officer Flintosh to serve as their vice president. <laughs> Officer Adam Williams. Officer Williams' class elected him to serve as their president. The following award is for high academic achievement, and that award goes to Officer Chardonnay Nichols. After the completion of 10 written exams totaling 977 questions that tested her knowledge throughout the academy and passing the cumulative DCGS exam, which was 215 questions, Officer Nichols completed the academy with the highest academic average of 96.6%. The next award is for Top Shot. That's Officer Austin Smith. With over 120 hours of firearms training, expending several thousand rounds of ammunition, and completing numerous qualifications courses, Officer Smith completed the academy with the highest firearms averages of 98.1% with his handgun and 99.6% with the carbine. The squad leader selected the next officer for the following award, which is sponsored by the Citizens Police Academy Alumni Association. I would like to ask the president of the Citizens Police Academy Alumni Association, Michelle Marino, to join us on stage to present this award. I would like to call up Officer Chardonnay Nichols. Since she arrived on day one and throughout the academy, Officer Nichols remained at the top of the class in physical fitness with an excellent overall rating. 
As you already know, she ranked first in academics with a 99 points, I'm sorry, 96.6 average. She scored high in firearms, performed very well in defensive driving, and completed defensive tactics without any remedial training. In addition, she's demonstrated the attributes of a model recruit throughout the dura duration of the academy. Her positive attitude, motivation, and leadership have been noted by several department instructors, and for these reasons, the Citizens Police Academy Alumni Association recognizes Officer Nichols for her outstanding overall performance, and I'm pleased to announce that she is a recipient of the Top Recruit Award. Nice job. Chief Newdigate and distinguished guests, if you could please take your seats. Thank you. Good to see you. At this time, I would like to invite Officer Williams, class president, back to the stage, as it is tradition for the class president to say a few remarks. There's a lot more people here than I thought there was going to be. Good evening, everyone. My name is Adam Williams, and I'm honored to be here tonight to speak as president of this great group of people. First, I want to start off by saying thank you to Chief Newgate and his staff for giving us this opportunity and taking time to be here for this special event, so thank you. I'd like to say thank you to all the friends and family that came here tonight to celebrate our graduation and for the continued support throughout this journey. A huge thank you is owed to the entire training bureau staff, the squad leaders, recruiting and selection staff, range staff, creed staff, all the role players who came out for all of our uh, scenarios. Just thank you to all of you. We couldn't be here tonight without you all pouring into us. And lastly, I'd like to say thank you to Academy Class 7-4. We showed up at LIDA on January 12th as a group of individuals who were anxious and apprehensive to introduce ourselves at Icebreakers. I'd say now we have plenty of confidence to handle our next phase of training. So thank you guys for electing me tonight. And I don't want to hold up any more of your time, so I won't be here too much longer. So I'll keep this short with just two thoughts for the class. First is to enjoy yourself wherever this job takes you. It's very easy to become consumed by this line of work, and if you're not careful, it'll control your life, not only at home, but at work as well. So when you're off, make it a priority to make time for things that are important to you. Secondly, don't ever be bored in this job. We've heard it time and time again, this whole academy, that if you're bored on this department, it's your own fault. So stay active by pushing yourself to your next goal whether it's a qualification, a special assignment, a promotion, you always, have, you always have a reason to be getting after it. So thanks again, everyone. Class 7-4, I love you guys. Um, thank you, that's all I have. And um, <laughs> do I have one more thing. Class, are, are we wearing sweaters tonight? I just, I need to know. Thank you. Thank you, Officer Williams. Do you want your certificate, sir? I'll, I'll get them to you later. I would like to take a few moments to talk to you about the Virginia Beach Police Department's Guide On, which is posted across the stage to my left. The Guide On's purpose is twofold. First, it identifies the Virginia Beach Police Department and the Academy class. Secondly, and perhaps most importantly, it is a symbol that emphasizes pride and esprit de corps. While in formation, the guide on is always out in front. When the command presents the academy class with the guide on, the class is tasked to maintain it at all times throughout the remainder of their academy training. The class sergeant at arms, Officer Bevel, is primarily responsible for its care, protection, handling, and proper display, but the entire class shared in that responsibility. The guide on is ever present during physical fitness training, off-site training, and it stands proudly outside the academy class while in session. Upon successful completion of the police academy, the class returns the guide on to the command at graduation. It should be noted that the members of the 74th Academy class designed and produced this particular guide on to resent, represent their class. Without further delay, the return of the guide on.
Thank you. Chaplain Stevens, would you please join me at the podium for the benediction? Please rise and join us in prayer. Heavenly Father, as these newly sworn officers begins their service to our great city and esteemed police department, may the Lord richly bless each member of this class and keep them from harm's way, safely protected by your grace and your mercy as you give each one of them favor to meet every challenge that they may face. May the Lord make his face shine brightly upon each one of them as he gives them his peace and his joy forevermore. Amen. You may be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to present to you the officers of the 74th Police Academy. This concludes today's ceremony.